Like most things in life, when something's done badly, everyone notices it. And sadly, when they botch up the CGI in a movie, it immediately transports you away from that fantasy world and back into your living room, leaving you thinking, this is the worst CGI Scorpion I've ever seen and thus ruining the movie. But when CGI is done well enough to not look like a plastic man fighting a bunch of other plastic men, it can really pull you into the story and leave you forgetting that you've just been watching a whole load of CGI. So with that said, here are some Hollywood visual effects you didn't notice were CGI. Logan Unlike past X-Men movies, Logan doesn't really have any huge scale visual effects, and perhaps that's what makes it all the more believable. Aside from a few digital backgrounds, the visual effects were used to achieve smaller things like the impossible but very realistic looking self-healing skin. CGI was also used to give Wolverine's little clone, Laura, realistic looking adamantium claws just like him. And speaking of claws, CGI was also used to achieve those impressive blows that Wolverine delivers to the bad guys with his adamantium claws, only this time unlike the laughably fake previous versions we've had the misfortune to witness in the past, they did them justice. 2012 any good disaster movie pretty much relies on CGI to create those huge scenes of general chaos, and in the movie 2012 there are more than 500 of them. Many visual effects moments in the movie demanded huge computing power and most of these scenes were multi-layered, meaning they consisted of several different graphics that were later combined to make up the scene in a realistic way, like for example when the plane is flying between huge falling buildings. And due to the high demand in computing power for the sheer amount of CGI needed, they used about 250 of the most powerful computers at the time to process all of these graphics. Actors were filmed in front of blue screens and some of the sets were designed to shake realistically in order to simulate an earthquake. This blend of real footage and high quality CGI really helped keep things looking believable. Game of Thrones one of the most epic scenes in Game of Thrones was when Daenerys, along with a horde of Dothraki and a dragon, completely destroyed a Lannister army. The scene was challenging to shoot because despite the logical assumption that most of this scene is going to be CGI, because, you know, trying to film a real dragon would be kind of impractical, most of the scenery and explosions were actually real. The creators actually went all out and took the time to set fire to several extras as well as blow up the wagons with carefully placed charges. They even used real ash to simulate the charred remains of the Lannister army. This all added to the realism of the scene, leaving any major CGI work for the dragon. To get Daenerys to blend with the dragon, they made a real mechanical rig and filmed Amelia Clark riding it in front of a green screen. They then simply superimposed her onto their 3D dragon. For the scenery, shots from behind the dragon were done with special cameras mounted on cables and drones. This left a very real backdrop for them to more easily superimpose Daenerys and the dragon over the top, giving a very realistic end result. Spider-Man Homecoming Despite the actor Tom Holland doing all his own stunts, or the fact that many of the scenes were made in the filming set without CGI, and yes, they also made a full-size replica of a ferry that they filled with water and balanced with the help of special mechanisms, it didn't mean that Spider-Man Homecoming was completely CGI-free. Aside from the obvious scenes like the Spidey suit interface, for example, the scene where Spider-Man climbs the Washington Monument was in fact aided with CGI, as the actor wasn't allowed to climb the real thing on his own. So they built several replica chunks of it for Tom to climb in front of a green screen and then simply superimposed it onto a Washington backdrop. San Andreas In order to destroy the state of California, artists had to work hard recreating more than 1300 scenes with special effects for the movie, such as the destruction of the Hoover Dam, a ton of falling buildings, an impressive wave that wipes out the city of San Francisco, and also the destruction of the Golden Gate Bridge, and no, they didn't do it by filming a bucket of water being tipped over a tiny model replica. The visual effects artists in this movie made a huge effort to achieve such highly realistic results, combining between 4 and 15 images of the same place and even mixing together CGI with real photographs, all in order to achieve these highly immersive disaster scenes that keep you clutching your seat all throughout the movie. Which movie had you fooled? Leave it in the comments section below. For your daily celeb fix, subscribe.